Oh man, I suck at hitting the spider. There we go. He should be dead in one hit. Power 5, Unbreaking 3, Flame 1. So welcome back everyone to another episode of James's Minecraft Journal. My name is James the Douglas. This is my small corner of the internet, as they say. Uh, so yeah, in today's Let's Play episode on my single player world in Minecraft in 1.7.2, we, I think we're gonna, uh, we're gonna try and get a few things done. But I think the most important thing we need to get done is we need to finally make a proper way to get down to the mob systems. Uh, we currently don't have that. We currently have to take the lonesome cave route, which we've been using since basically the start. Down here. Oh, what are you doing here? Uh, whatever. Um, anyway, before I was rudely interrupted, I was just stating that this is the path we have to take down to, uh, to our cave system. Oh, you know what? We've not been down here in ages. We should check to see how our farm is doing. Seems like it's keeping up. Oh, look at that. Quite a lot of uh, gunpowder. Got a lot of string. Lots of uh, slime balls. Not so much of the witch drops, but that's to be expected. You know what, that sounds quite loud. Um, so yeah, we do still have to do up this room as well. I never got round to that due to other things. But yeah, this is the part we've completed. Nice and simple area just to, to come and have a look at things such as the mob farm. And yeah, this is where I was thinking of doing it. Now we've got to take the coordinates here. Coordinates are minus... Oh, 1889, minus 138, minus 137, 189. These are the blocks which, uh, above which the mob system lies, or that, 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 um, those coordinates I was at just before. Uh, this is where they lie. Not in an, well, they are in an ideal spot, but they're not in an exact ideal spot. Uh, so we may as well mark them, so we don't forget them. Uh... What I was thinking was having like a sort of staircase going down at first and then just having a drop at the end of it. Okay, so here's a progress update. I, for some reason, thought it would be cool to do just dig a big hole and maybe have some sort of a lake or a loch, depending on what country you're from, at the bottom. Uh, not entirely sure where that, this idea came from, not even sure what's inspired it. I'm not even sure how I'm going to build it, but this is what I've got so far. Um, I think it looks alright. Uh, I'm hopefully going to be able to connect, like I don't want to roof on it as such, but I want to be able to connect this part here to the um, the middle pillar where the ladder is. And at the same time I just I don't want to have like a walkway going from the ladder to the edge and back again. I just want the, the ladder to remain separate and only be connected at the top. So I'm not entirely sure where this is going from, but we'll just we'll just have a have, have a have a go at letting imagination go wild. That was good English, I know, but it's all right because I'm Scottish. <laughs> Sorry, um, I made that joke joke a lot, and apparently it's insulting. Uh, I apologise if it is insulting. Uh, I've also just realised I need to keep this episode short because the. This is the day of upload and I don't want to make it too long in case it takes a while to upload. I know Domo doesn't like it when I upload in daytime. So I'm just going to have to go as quickly as I can. So we might not get anything else done other than this shaft here. For some reason I thought of a water tower then this is what sprung from it. So I'm not sure where that came from but hey ho these things, these things happen. Uh, this is one issue with the setup we've got in the minute. If you have a look in there, you probably won't be able to see very well. Um, but we have just about every spider. Actually, 
No, more like 50% of the spiders over here tracking us through the wall. Now, if you look at the other mobs, they don't track us through the walls, obviously, but these spiders do. And that is quite a bit of an issue with... Well, I honestly don't think it will affect the rates too much, based on the fact that... Oh, jeez. We've got quite a few mobs in there. Yeah, I don't think it will affect the issue... Uh, the mob system drops too much. In fact, it might help to limit them. Why, who, who's hitting me? Oh, whoa! Jerk! Get out of here! Um, ooh, those are good boots. Uh, yeah, I don't think it'll affect the rates too much. It might help limit them, which is kind of what we want, because otherwise I'm going to have chests full of stuff just lying here doing nothing. Uh, but other than that, it is an issue. Alright, so we have completed our task for today. We have made a link between the mob system and the surface, or at least a better link than we already had. Let me show what I mean. So, this is the building that I was in the middle of constructing last time we were on the surface. As you can see, uh, I haven't changed much from how, how I showed it before. I think it... I think it looks alright, as in, it looks strange, but that's kind of how I wanted it. I didn't want a building that was just, like, square. Uh, I didn't want a building that was simply just, you know, plain and flat and all that. I wanted something with curves, I wanted something that stood out, and I think it does. And I like the stone here, I honestly like the stone rim we have here, which is good. The ladder doesn't connect to the edge, you have to go all the way to the top here, over and down. And that's how you get across and get back to the mainland, or not the mainland, the ground. Uh, I'm probably not going to link it with a path. We'll just have it standing out on its own. We don't need this torch over here, so we'll just move that. And speaking of torches, I might actually just put a few round and about just to provide a wee bit of light. I don't mind working with torches, although I know some people do. But to me, torches are okay to work with, as you can see. Part of the game, might as well use them. Okay, so let's go down a bit. This is the part I haven't showed off. So you just have to hop off the edge and you land in a pool of water. Now I tried to make the pool as random as possible. Uh, similarly, I tried to make the cave as random as possible. I put a lot of stalagmites on the ground. I'm not going to put it... wait, stalagmites? No, stalactites. Stalactites are the one that come off the ceiling. Stalagmites come off the ground. So I put some kind of stalag... Um, oh, stalactites coming out, coming off the walls, uh, coming out the ceiling. It's... I don't know, some of it's repetitive, some of it's random. I, I don't mind. Uh, and as you can see, the pool is vaguely random as well. Uh, you can walk all the way around the outside without going in the water. That is part of the plan. I'm trying to work out where the... yeah. Okay, so that's... I might rejiggle things a wee bit, because I think things might go over here if we ever... because my plan is to do sort of stuff down here, have doors going to places and that. It's not going to be a branch mine or a mine shaft or anything like that. We're going to avoid branch mining near spawn or near the... Uh, area here, but it's going to have some sort of a function other than just a pretty look, if you can call it pretty, but uh, I don't. I think it's a complete mess. That's the idea though, because it's a cave. Have you spotted the entrance to the mob system? Those of you who are eagle-eyed will have. It's just down here. Oh, hold on a second. Looks like we've got... Oh, that's the... Um, that's where that goes. We will have to move that. I will do that later on. But here we are. We have successfully made it down to the mob system. We've got our spider followers following us. I'm going to put a door in here, I think, so I can enter the mob system and kill them all, because that's that would be very pleasing. They've, we've got the witches that are still burning. Will they ever stop drinking their fire resist or health or whatever the heck they're drinking? Um... And yeah, I'm happy with progress this episode. Thank you for watching. Sorry it has been kind of rushed. Sorry it has been kind of uh, lacking in detail, but we did ha we did get something done. See you next time. Goodbye.